autism. It's gratifying to finally have a court agree that it was caused by the vaccination. In March, John Poling's daughter Hannah made history when government health officials conceded childhood vaccines contributed to her autism by aggravating a rare disorder. At the Pacific Autism Center for Education, Executive Director Kurt Ohls talks about a popular theory about the vaccine preservative. It's a natural neurotoxin, which um, if anybody uh, with in terms of heavy metals uh, gets in involved with the brain, can cause inflammation or swelling in the brain, which can start the onset of, of autism. Thimerosal has not been used in childhood vaccines since 2000 in California. Also, also says some cases are focused on the sheer number of vaccinations given to young children as a possible link to autism. Verdicts on these new cases may provide answers about the developmental disability. I think parents watch these cases very closely. Um, certainly there's the aspect of monetary compensation for the costs of autism. But I think from a parental perspective, they really want answers. Answers that are not likely to come quickly. In 2004, the Institute of Medicine says there was no credible evidence to show that vaccines containing the preservative thimerosal led to autism in children. But thousands of families, of course, have a different take based on their own personal experience. And some doctors are uneasy about all of these court cases focusing on a link between autism and vaccinations. They worry claims about the dangers could cause some people to forego vaccines that prevent potentially deadly illnesses. Link